be strong. Welcome, 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 welcome to all my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to Triple D TV. Welcome again to Triple D TV and welcome to my, all my viewers and subscribers. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, what you waiting on? Just come over here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so when I upload any videos, you are the first get to see it. I remember to lick it all. So when I upload any videos, you are the first get to see it, man. I remember to like, share, and comment on Triple D videos. So here, I have a little news clip, courtesy of News 12. You know, normally I don't do these um, kind of videos, but this one, I could not let this one pass. So this one is courtesy of News 12 Long Island. So just watch this little clip and when I've, forward we go over it and i make my my little analysis of this video check it out engulfed in flames that struck a tree without hesitation they pulled over and sprung into action another car also pulled over and the driver of that car had a baseball bat christine's husband used the bat to break a window of the burning car i basically just leaned in opened her seatbelt, and then we turned her to get her out and then another gentleman, I don't know who he was or where he's from, um, he helped grab the top of her while I grabbed the bottom of her leg. State police say 58-year-old Nancy Brady of West Sayville was driving east on the parkway near exit 35 when her vehicle veered off the roadway, struck a tree, and caught on fire. Along with police, the West Babylon and East Farmingdale Fire Departments responded. We got the original call as a vehicle fire with someone trapped, and we got on scene uh passes by we were able to get her out of the car before we got there which probably saved her from uh, even more injuries the woman involved in the collision and the ox happened to live five minutes from each other while they didn't know one another they have mutual friends on facebook we're both thankful that she's okay and we were able to help her madison palumbo was one of the paramedics who responded to the accident just shows the courage that you know someone had to walk up to a burning vehicle and pull somebody out so i give them a lot of credit for doing that the accident is under investigation, and state police are asking anyone with information to call them. In Stony Brook, Liz Burke, News 12, Long Island. Welcome back to Triple D TV. Welcome, welcome back to my viewers and script subscribers. Welcome back to Triple D TV. My, my viewers and subscribers, isn't that amazing? Isn't that fantastic as you just watch that news clip? Courtesy as News 12. Isn't that fantastic, man? I'm just going to pay respect to the, that, this couple man who saved this lady from this burning car. It's just amazing. It's amazing. They are true, true life hero. They not, did not stop to take out the, their phone to video and make a video. No. They run rush into action to save this human being life and that's so fantastic i applaud them i take my art hats off to them man it's such a great thing you know and you never see no video or anything like that man it's so fantastic and this is a message i want to send to my jamaican people my jamaican people i recently saw a similar situation in jamaica but the, the outcome was not as good as this one i think it happened in saint thomas in Saint the parish of saint thomas jamaica where a, a car caught fire with a woman in it and uh, the car was engulfed in fire nobody tried to help the lady everybody took out their their phone and videoing and making videos man this these this these smartphone is a as a blessing and a curse man it's a blessing and a curse nobody her sister lady, nobody rushed to the lady and even tried to get this fire out. Nobody. Even when the police arrived, the police were just standing there, just looking as a spectator. When did we become so insensitive of a society to not show respect to a human life, especially my fellow Jamaican? When did we get so insensitive and... Uh, Think about getting likes, a few likes to um, in front of a human life. When, when, as a society, we get so insensitive. I, I'm so upset, you know. 
I'm so upset. Jamaican, my Jamaican brothers and sisters, I want you to watch this clip. I want you to take a leaf out of these people pages, man, and do the writing. Stop go for your phone and start a video right away. When did a human life become so cheap that we rather have a few likes than to save a human being life? Come on, my Jamaican people. Do better, man. Do better as a society, man. You know, they sat there and watch, watch that car burn. I didn't want to play a clip car. A lot of you guys have seen clip about that. You know, and it's, it was so, it was so horrific that I would not want to replay that. The scene was so horrific. You know, I don't, I don't want to play back something like that. It's so crazy, man. We got to, Start love each other as human beings and start think about videoing and getting likes and go viral, man. It's crazy, man. So again, by Jamaican people, start to think, man. Don't go for your camera, man. The first instinct, man. Save a life. Save a life, man. Save a life. Just take a leaf out of these people pages, man. It's so good, man. And I want to say again, my heart goes off to this couple who saved this woman life saved this lady from the burning car. You know, up to now, I don't see a video of it. Nobody stopped to take no video. You know, oh, I only see still pictures. So, man, I want to say thank you again for these two, this wife and husband who saved this lady life. And that's what the, um, the fireman say. They got the call. But if it wasn't for these people, this woman would not be alive today. So I want to say, man, thank you for saving that person's life, you know. I would want somebody to do that for me or any one of my kids if we're in the similar situation. So my heart goes off to these couple, man. You know, I hope, hope the most I continue bless you with long and healthy life and your offspring with long and healthy life. You did the right thing and thanks again, man. And to my Jamaican people, take heed. Take heed to this video and, you know, take a page out of these people book. You know? So, again, man, guys, you know, Triple D is kind of angry, you know. But I'm angry at my Jamaican people, but I'm so happy for these people who saved these people, this woman life, you know. And thanks, News 12 again. I want to big up News 12 for this clip. Thank you again, News 12, News 12 Long Island for this clip. And uh, to all my viewers and subscribers, thank you. Thank you for watching Triple D TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all my viewers and subscribers. Thank you for watching. And remember to like, share, and comment. And most of all, subscribe to Triple D TV. And remember to tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend. And as Triple D always say, your attitude will determine your altitude. And I'll see you in my next video.